Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setup for this morning. So, um, measured move played out. We had a double bottom here. I'll give that to you on the three hour when we get there. Uh, that has played out. Played out. We sort of hit the, the measured move and then just basically went sideways. Oscillators at the moment on the eight hour are nowhere at the moment, so uh, no real warning bells that we need to be worrying about getting out of a long trade if you are long. But uh, what we do see at the moment is a little bit of confused price action on the three hour and the oscillators on the three hour are saying wait for a pullback. So I think that is the best advice I can give today. Wait for that pullback and you're getting ready to buy into this to test the uh, previous all time highs. Now S&P 500 and the Nasdaq made all time highs yesterday. So, uh, you know, the Dow typically lags every now and then and then a fire gets lit under it. A few uh, couple of days later and then it takes the lead so um oscillators grip the upside moving averages of crossing over on the three hour back into uh, very uh, bullish territory sorry so i would expect to pull back on structure and then a move up closest bit of structure is this zone right here and that is 35251 and 35181 uh, just for the double bottom here is your double bottom uh, there it is there Played up and uh, missed it by a couple of pips, but in my books that's done. So um, that's why that level is there because that would have, that's my take profit area, and you can see it take a profit right on that area. So if we move down to the hour and we'll see what other structure we've got, look at the the oscillators at the moment. Uh, not looking really interesting at the moment. Potential double top forming right now. So I would anticipate a bit of a move to the downside this morning. So on the hour, we've got a crossover the moving average. Now, normally what happens is we come back and test those uh, crossovers. So I'm uh, kind of sitting on hands, waiting for the pullback, and then we're looking to buy into that pullback. Um, it's been profitable so far this this month, and we'll continue doing that. So this is 35.251 and 35.181. Those are the areas I'm waiting for the pullback into. As soon as we get pullback into there, looking for the structure, and then looking to buy and we will ultimately be looking first for this level to give way 35425 and then we are looking for 35528 um, as an ultimate target uh, i'll be taking profit at that you can see quite a bit of structure there it'll bounce off that and then it'll bounce back up again to come and test the highs anyway that's the the structure at the moment is pretty much textbook stuff right now uh, no reason to be short and uh, no reason to be buying up at these levels. Wait for the pullback and buy the pullback. Buy the pullback, take profit at the next bit of structure. Um, keep those trades short and sweet right now until we get some kind of a reset that happens. And as I said, well, as I keep saying, you know, the market is up. It's in a bull trend. Uh, it is up until it's not up. So until we see... Uh, some major correction structure that is indicating we are have got a correction on the on the cards you trade with a trend don't try the second guess it don't try select tops you're just going to burn yourself and stress yourself out so um, wait for the pullback buy into it keep your uh, you keep your stops as close as possible and uh, you'll be more profitable than not granted you are going to get taken out every now and then but rather get taken out once out of every 10 trades than uh, get taken out uh, 10 of a nine out of every 10 trades. Okay, anyway, that's it for me. Short and sweet, hope it helps. And uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.